वेलकम स्टूडेंट आई वेलकम इन माई यूट्यूब चैनल आई एम डॉक्टर देवाराम असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ जियोलॉजी गवर्नमेंट डूमर कॉलेज बीकानेर टूडे इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट जियोलॉजिकल थर्मोमीटर्स सो वॉट आर द जियोलॉजिकल थर्मोमीटर्स सो मिनरल दैट हिल्ड इन्फॉर्मेशन about the temperature of their formation and of their enclosing deposit are termed as geological thermometers aise khanij jo ki unke banne ke aur unke saath ke jo nikshep hote hain unke banne ke tapkram ko batate hain unko bhuvigyanik thermometer kehte hain they are of scientific and practical importance for a proper understanding of the origin of mineral deposits and their classification geological thermometer ka prayogik roop se ek khanij nikshep ke udbhav ko aur unke vargikaran ko samajhne ke liye importance hoti hai kuch aise methods hain जिससे कि जियोलॉजिकल थर्मोमीटर के बारे में पता किया जा सकता है सो फर्स्ट इज द डायरेक्ट मेजरमेंट द मेजरमेंट ऑफ टेम्परेचर ऑफ फॉर्मेशन ऑफ लावा फ्यूमरोल्स एंड हॉट स्प्रिंग इंडिकेट द टेम्परेचर ऑफ फॉर्मेशन ऑफ मिनरल एंड क्रोस देरिंग लावा फॉर्मेशन का फ्यूमरोल्स का और हॉट स्प्रिंग एनक्लोज में जो मिनरल होते हैं वो उनके बनने के तापक्रम को इंडिकेट करते हैं द मिनरल्स कंटेंड इन लेस बेसिक रॉक फॉर्म इन पार्ट अब एट हंड्रेड टेन डिग्री सेल्सियस एंड प्रिंसिपली बिटवीन एट हंड्रेड सेवेंटी एंड सिक्स हंड्रेड फिफ्टी Decreasing with the increase in silica content. So, basic rock होती है, उनके अंदर जो minerals होते हैं, वो लगभग 810 degree के ऊपर के temperature पर बनते हैं, और जो उनकी range होती है, वो 650 degree Celsius से 870 degree Celsius तक होती है। लेकिन जैसे ही silica content increase होता है, तो उनका जो बनने का जो temperature होता है, वो थोड़ा decrease हो जाता है। The pyrogenetic ore minerals like chromite form within the range of magma consolidation, which contact metamorphosed minerals formed at temperature lower than that of magmatic emanation that produced them. Gas fumaroles likewise indicate the maximum temperature for the formation of fumarolic minerals. Lava flows fumarole. Reach about 800 degrees Celsius. With decreasing fumarole activity, lower temperature minerals occur. The temperature of shallow hot spring extends downward from the boiling point of water, and maximum temperature of formation can be assigned to opal, gypsum, cinnabar, stibnite, etc. Second one is the melting point. The melting point of mineral indicate the maximum temperature at which they can crystallize from melt. In a supersaturated solution, they may melt at considerably lower temperature. The presence of other substance also greatly lowers the liquid solid temperature point. Some experimentally verified melting points are albite at 1104 degree Celsius, stibnite at 576 degree Celsius, and bispite at 271 degree Celsius. These are the melting points of albite, stibnite, and bismuth respectively. Now, dissociation. Minerals that lose their volatile component 
at certain temperature serve as poor geological thermometers. As the temperature of dissociation is increased by increasing pressure. This is pressure increase hota hai, dissociation temperature bhi increase hota hai. Geolites indicate low temperature of formation since when heated they lose their water content provided that pressure is not too high. Calcite dissociate under atmospheric pressure at 885 degrees Celsius. This dissociation is affected by the mole fraction of CO2 in a CO2 H2 environment. Silica available for combination with calcium oxide lowers the dissociation temperature. Next one is the inversion point. Inversion points are very useful temperature indicators even though they are affected by pressure. Many inversion points are known within the temperature range prevailing in the formation of most mineral deposit. The inversion point of silica are readily utilized. However, the utilization of its tridimite and crystobalite polymorphs is performed with some difficulty since both occur in volcanic amygdules having formed a temperature well below the inversion of 940 degrees Celsius and 104 degree 100 400 1400 70 degrees Celsius at one atmospheric pressure. Argentite and acanthite represent a high and low temperature forms of argentite sulfide with an inversion point of 175 degrees Celsius. The external form of argentite crystal is isometric, hence it follows that they were formed above 175 degrees Celsius. And the anomalous anisotropism ascribed to argentite indicate that such argentite was originally isometric and later inverted to the orthorhombic acanthite. Next is X solution. Minerals that form natural solid solution in each other and at lower temperature unmixed to yield distinguishable mineral intergoats serve as geological thermometer indicating a temperature of formation above that at which exhalation takes place. For example, chalcopyrite and boronite unmix at 500 degrees Celsius, cubanite and chalcopyrite at 400 400 degrees Celsius. Boronite and Jalco site at 175 degrees Celsius. Boronite to Jalco site at 175 to 225 degrees Celsius. It has been shown that the Jalco, Jalco pyrotite exhaust below 255 degrees Celsius into gelcopyrite, cubanite and pyrotite. Now recrystallization. This change is somewhat similar to inversion and exolution but applies more specifically to native metals. For example, native copper undergoes a recurve Recognizable recrystallization at about 450 degrees Celsius. Native silver recrystallized at about 200 degrees Celsius. Fluid inclusion. Fluid inclusion, as we have already discussed in a detailed manner. So, the, um, fluid inclusion in cavities of crystal indicates the approximate temperature of formation of the crystal by the amount of contraction of the liquid assuming that the liquid originally filled the entire cavities. So these are the some methods by which the um, 
geological thermometer can be determined or they in yield the information about the geological thermometers conductivity it get determined by a pyrite geothermometer for the measurement of thermoelectric potential of pyrite against a metal to give the temperature of formation of pyrite thank you